When I first started posting on YouTube, I would always get comments asking me, Osho, why do you waste your time with places like Figueroa Street? Why don't you just go down to Tijuana, Mexico? I swear I would laugh at these comments. Why would I drive a hundred miles to a third world country just for some third world coochie and come on we already know the stigma behind tijuana how dangerous it is the violence the cartels i'm not going down there long story short figueroa street was just not doing it for me so i said screw it i'm gonna go i'm gonna check this place out and guys oh my god describing my first time in tijuana is like trying to describe an acid trip it's just it's so it's it's impossible to describe it unless you do it yourself. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I was at the peak as far as nervousness, the butterflies in my stomach, the anxiety. It's scary. The, the adrenaline that you get driving, you know, walking across the border, getting into the taxi, especially your first time, it's insane. But the second you walk inside one of the clubs, especially the main one being Hong Kong, I'm telling you, it's like walking into a movie set. When I say nines and tens everywhere, Osho does not exaggerate. Now, one thing that I love about Tijuana Zona Norte is the simplicity of it. For example, if you want to go to Colombia, you have to first decide what's city do you want to go to and then you have to do your research where are the girls what are the places what are the price There's, it, you know it's a more complicated process it, it, the same thing with thailand do you want to go to bangkok patia phuket whereas in tijuana it's very simple all you got to do is tell the taxi zona norte hong kong adelitas chicago boom they know exactly where you want to go everyone in tijuana knows where what, what Tijuana, you know hong kong is it's super popular there it's very it's very simple and the clubs are all jammed in in one spot you can't miss it number two the baddie to girl ratio. Now, I'm sure places like Colombia, Thailand, they have more places, more girls, more options, right? But as far as the baddie to girl ratio in Tijuana, I, I, I'm with almost 100% certainty you won't find a place with as many good looking girls in one spot as Tijuana. It's the most consistently baddie nines and tens Instagram model place I've ever I've ever seen. Um, Again, Colombia is good. Dominican Republic, I'm sure, has baddies. But just, it's not as... You're, you're more likely if you walk into hong kong or Adelias, you're gonna find one guaranteed the second you walk in you're gonna find a baddie number number three what i love about tijuana it's right next to the united states of america no need to a thousand mile plane ride to some third world country right boom all you gotta do is go to the united states if you don't feel comfortable staying in tijuana you can just stay in the united states cross over and come back we have the luxury of being in the best country in the world and having the best red light district of all time right next to us you can't say that when you go to Colombia, you're at the mercy of, you know, praying to God that they don't uh, blow that thing in your face in some Airbnb and end up stealing your passport and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> now, one thing that I don't like about Tijuana, and a lot of guys are not going to agree with what I'm about to say, but Hong Kong carries. Hong Kong Tijuana carries this place. If Hong Kong went away, I'm sorry, Tijuana is not worth it. I try my hardest to justify Adelitas. I never even stepped inside Chicago Club, but I just I tr I want to justify Adelitas. I want to justify the other clubs, the street girls, but I can't. Hong Kong Tijuana is by far the only club that seems to be worth it to me, at least. Um, now the cool thing about Adelitas, though, is that Adelitas has the you know they could choose girls from Venezuela, from Colombia. They can have girls working from other countries work there, whereas T uh, Hong Kong is strictly just Mexican girls. So with Adelitas, you get more of a variety, but I don't know. Just when I walk in, I'm, I'm not as impressed as when I am in Hong Kong. That's just me. Another thing that kind of sucks about Tijuana is that besides the girls, there really isn't much to do. There's good restaurants. You can go to the beach. There's That's about it. I don't know. At least for me. If I'm going to travel to another place, I would at least hope for other... That's why, you know, maybe Colombia would be the better option if you're traveling to another from another country, another state, and, you know, you want to do more things than just girls. There's probably more options or things to do in, in Colombia. Now, since people are obviously going to ask, the girl's going to cost you $100 for 30 minutes. The room for the night, if you want to spend the night, it's going to cost you like 70, 80 bucks, I think. But if you just want it for 30 minutes, the room will cost you $30 for 30 minutes. It does come with a beer. Um, Sometimes on Friday, Saturday night, if it's really busy, or actually every Friday, Saturday night, I take that back. They're going to charge you $5 to get inside the club. It does come with a beer. The Friday, Saturday nights are by far the busiest, obviously. The weekdays are way less busy, but uh, you might not see as many girls on the weekdays as well. I don't like, um, for example, in Thailand, there's like this soapy massage thing where you have to like it's called a soap i forget the name it's like a fishbowl or something they call it where you have to like pick a girl from a lineup you know like they all stand there for you and you have to pick one of them i hate that i hate everything about that that's so awkward it's so weird what tijuana is is perfect for me it's pretty much a giant club it's a strip club and the girls are just dancing they're on stage or doing whatever you know making money getting ones and then when you decide to like when you like one when you like when you see you can just pick one and that's it that for me is perfect the way it's set up the way it's the way it is 
that's exactly how I want my place. But again, that's just me. If you're like, you know, if you're not into loud music or, or you know, anything like that, then it might not be your place. All I can say is after two years of going to Tijuana, it's well worth it. And if you guys have never been before, you should. It's fun. It's one. Of, it, it's it, it. Honestly, Tijuana has killed the concept of fun for me because be, without Tijuana, I really don't know what else to do.